kids. Hi, welcome to week four of the Superhero Series. I'm Rachel, I'm the children's pastor at Falkirk Vineyard Church. Let me ask you a question. How many of you have got a place in the house where the grown-up will measure you every few months to see how big you've grown? Well, I had a place at home. It was on the door frame of my bedroom and my mum or my dad used to measure me and they were always really surprised at how much I'd grown. And one day they measured me and I was taller than my mum. That was a shock for us both. So today we're discovering how heroes grow, not taller, but more like Jesus. We start learning how to be heroes when we make the choice to follow Jesus. So we're going to look at a Bible verse from Philippians 1 verse 6 and it says God began doing a good work in you and he will continue it until it's finished. The work that God is doing in you is helping us grow in our friendship with Jesus. God's given us his Holy Spirit who is using everything we learn about Jesus and everything that happens in our lives to grow us into people who live more like Jesus. So we're going to go on and hear about someone who demonstrates that in his relationship with Jesus in the Bible. So let me tell you about a young man in the Bible named Timothy. His adventure with Jesus began early in his life. His mother and grandmother were already believers in Jesus, so they taught him all about Jesus too as a very young child. He came to believe in Jesus because of their faith and all that they taught him. How many of you have a grown up who talks to you about Jesus? Oh, that's cool. You have something in common with Timothy. So Paul, the famous missionary who even wrote part of the Bible, started from Jerusalem on one of his journeys. And when he came to Lystra, he met Timothy's family. While he was there preaching and gathering new believers, Paul became a teacher and a role model for young Timothy. How many of you have a great leader or a coach or a teacher that you look up to? Well, that's something else that you have in common with Timothy. Timothy probably learned a lot from Paul. He learned about God's word, about God's son Jesus, the Holy Spirit and God's family of believers, the church. Paul was really impressed by Timothy's eagerness to learn and obey. How many of you have been learning a lot about the Bible and Jesus, the Holy Spirit and God's family? Wow, that's another way that you're like Timothy. So Paul invited Timothy to join him on one of his missionary journeys. Can you imagine how excited Timothy was? It might have been his first time traveling away from his home. He may have been gone for about a year. So Timothy got first-hand experience ministering to others and facing the challenges of sharing the good news about Jesus from city to city. Have you been on any mission trips or done a service project or faced challenges trying to tell someone about Jesus? Well, if you've experienced any of those, you have even more in common with Timothy. Now, when the church they started in Ephesus needed a pastor, Paul asked Timothy to take the job. Even though Timothy was only a young man at this time, Paul knew he could trust him to be a good leader because Timothy had a strong foundation of knowledge and experience and obeyed the leading of the Holy Spirit. I bet none of you have led a church yet, but one day God may ask some of you to lead one just like Timothy. When he was asked, Timothy was ready because the Holy Spirit had been training him throughout his life, just like the Holy Spirit is working in your life. So, how does the Holy Spirit train us? How do we grow closer to Jesus? How do we grow as God's heroes like Timothy did? Well, let's think about how we look after our physical bodies. We make sure we eat good things, we drink water, we get good rest, we get good um, exercise, um, we keep ourselves healthy. Um, and it's important that we keep our spiritual life healthy too. And our spiritual life can be a bit like a fire. 
and if we don't pay attention to a fire it will eventually burn out you'll be left with just little embers burning away and you need to feed that fire to make it into big flames to build up that passion inside of us and that's what we need to do with God we need to make sure that we're feeding our relationship with God and that's through reading our Bible and praying spending time with God um, so yeah I'm going to show you a little clip of a, a video um, which shows us how drawing close to God can help to reignite that flame inside of us. saw there was that even though the flame on the candle had gone out, bringing the other flame close by reignited the flame so it would burn again. And if we look at the, the um, letters written to Timothy by Paul, which are in the Bible, there's two of them, they're in the New Testament. Um, and if we look at 2 Timothy chapter 1, um, and if we look at... Um, verse 6 it says this is why I remind you to help God's gift grow just as a small spark grows into a fire so when we have a small spark um, we need to then um, bring God close to us so that through the Holy Spirit's work we can have a passion and a desire build up inside of us and burn inside of us like a like a really bright flame because we want to be able to shine bright for Jesus we want to be Able to take what God's given us and make it really shine out for everyone to see and when Jesus was doing the Sermon on the Mount he talked about the fact that we um, shouldn't take a light we wouldn't take a light and put it on a hill and then cover it up with a basket we want to be able to, to shine the light out for everyone to see so we want to make sure that we share the good news and that we shine our light um, so when God gives us gifts and um, when he sends his Holy Spirit we want to make sure that we are feeding that fire so that it doesn't burn out because if you leave a fire it will eventually go out so you need to be paying attention and, and giving it food um, and really making it burn bright for, for Jesus and the way we do that is we make sure that we have a, a really good relationship with God and we spend time with God and um, build that relationship through the Holy Spirit. So we do that by reading our Bible, by praying, by spending time with God, listening to worship music, all these sort of things um, so that we can make sure that when, when God wants to call us to do something because of our um, relationship with God and our closeness with God and, and the work of the Holy Spirit, we're going to be ready. Our flame is going to be burning bright. We also want to make sure that um, that flame, um, we don't keep it to ourselves, that we share the light with other people, we share the light of Jesus with others. Um, and so our craft today is talking about the theme of light. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Hey kids, time for craft. Um, I'm going to set you a challenge. Uh, I want you to take a toilet roll tube and some craft items, so maybe some paper, pencils, glue, scissors, etc. And I want you to make me something from the toilet roll tube that um, would give us light. So I want you to think about maybe making a candle or um, a torch or a lantern. Um, and so you can use just colouring pencils that you might have at home. Or if you've got some paper, maybe the colours that you'd expect to see in, in a fire, in a flame to give us light light um, maybe some glue and uh, as always um, have a grown-up help you with the scissors and yeah um, what I've made is I've made a lantern um, and also I've previously made a campfire so there's a couple of ideas um, that you can use um, for your challenge for the craft and I would love you to send pictures get your grown-up to send me um, pictures through email to kids at folkertvineyard.com and we'll see what you guys come up with. 
really look forward to seeing your crafts. Now we're going to spend a little bit of time worshipping God, just talking about that light that he gives us, that fire inside that we can have with our relationship with Jesus. We want to keep it burning, we want to keep it bright, and we want to share it. So I hope you enjoy the singing. some great singing and some wonderful actions guys um yeah so i would just like to quickly pray for us before we finish up for today um heavenly father i just ask you be with all the children during this time during this time of lockdown lord that they would have time to build a relationship with you that they would pick up their bibles and read their bibles that they would find time to spend time in prayer with you listening to hear what you want for their life lord that they would um, spend time and allow the holy spirit to um, dwell inside of them and build a fire of passion and desire inside of them for a relationship with you so that when you call on them to be a superhero they are ready they are built up so well in the holy spirit and in your knowledge and your love that they are ready to go wherever you call them and whatever you ask them to do that they are ready to step out and be superheroes for you lord we ask this in jesus name amen okay guys until next time stay safe and stay indoors and we'll see you later bye